What is pollution? Addition of any substance to the environment at a harmful levels is called pollution. As you know, there are three main types of pollution. Air pollution, water pollution, and soil pollution. Air pollution is a mixture of solid particles and gases in the air. Air pollution caused by car emission, chemicals from factories, dust, pollen, and smog in air that adversely affect human health and causing diseases of heart, lungs, and other health problems. Smog inhibits plant growth. Another main type of pollution is water pollution. Water pollution is the contamination of water bodies that causes loss of aquatic life and cause many diseases in humans. Water pollution also adversely affects soil pH that decreases availability of a nutrient to the plant. Another type of pollution is soil pollution. That is our main topic which I am going to discuss today. Okay, let's start. What is soil pollution? Soil pollution is contamination of soil with harmful substances that adversely affect soil quality. There are two types of pollutant, organic pollutants and inorganic pollutants that cause soil pollution. Do you know what is pollutant? Pollutant is any substance that contaminates air, water and soil. So, in soil, two types of pollutant can be found. Organic pollutants that are further divided into industrial organic pollutant and pesticide organic pollutants. While inorganic pollutants include heavy metals. Their sources are fertilizer, sewage sludge, etc. So, these are types of pollutant that cause soil pollution. Let's discuss each of them in detail. Industrial organic pollutants. Industrial organic pollutants include polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon. It is a petroleum product that used for fuel purpose. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons are persistent pollutant having a wide range of biological toxicity. Persistent pollutants are those pollutants that are resistant to degradation in the environment. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons emit into the environment from volcanic eruption, forest fire, or from industries. They are transported by wind to different location and deposit onto the soil and are strongly absorb on soil particles. Another industrial organic pollutant is TCE, trichloroethylene. It is a solvent used in manufacturing processes. TCE is a leachable, that's why it accumulates in groundwater. TCE readily passes through soil and contaminates the groundwater and causes many health problems, including kidney cancer. Another main industrial organic pollutant is PCB, Pakistan Cricket Board. No, it's not Pakistan Cricket Board. It stands for polychlorinated biphenyl. Polychlorinated biphenyls are widely dispersed compound, made made, and one of a persistent organic pollutant, and is strongly adsorbed on soil particles. But now they are banned because they are very persistent in the environment. They are very harmful for humans, animals, and birds. If soil is contaminated with a PCBS, and this pollutant can be taken up by the plant and thus contaminate food chain. All these industrial organic compounds are pollutant mostly found in those soils which are near to the industries. 
Pesticides. Pesticide is a type of organic pollutant that causes soil pollution. That is a main cause of soil pollution in a modern intensive agriculture. Types of pesticides. Two types of pesticides adversely affect soil quality. These are insecticides and herbicides. Insecticides used to control insect pests in agriculture. Organic insecticides are classified into three groups. One of them is chlorinated hydrocarbon. This group of the insecticide is persistent and has a low biodegradability. Biodegradability means material decomposed over the period of time by microorganisms. While chlorinated hydrocarbons example is DDT, dichlorodiphenyl trichloroethane. That is a very dangerous and has been banned in many countries due to their low biodegradability. Another group of insecticide is organophosphate. Organophosphate compounds, this is a biodegradable. It means it is decomposed by microorganisms in soil, but it is a toxic to the humans. The third group of insecticide is carbamate. Carbamate, this is a readily biodegradable and least dangerous. Herbicides. Herbicide is a type of a pesticide that used to control wheat. Herbicides are biodegradable, least toxic to mammals, but some herbicides are very toxic to the soil fauna. In organic pollutants, let's discuss now inorganic pollutants. Inorganic pollutants are heavy metals and they are categorized according to their toxicity. Arsenic, cadmium, mercury, chromium are highly toxic to the plant, human and animal. While lead, nickel, fluorine are moderately toxic. Low toxic metals are zinc, boron and copper. Arsenic is one of the most dangerous elements that cause many health problems, even kill the organism. Arsenic. Arsenic naturally present in soil and groundwater, but the high level of arsenic can be found near the mining sites. Continuously use of pesticide can accumulate arsenic in soil at a toxicity level. Arsenic killed thousands of people around the world because of the drinking arsenic contaminated groundwater. Behavior are effect of chemicals in soil. When pollutants reach in soil or added to the soil, they may undergo six possible processes. These are repression, adsorption, chemical reaction, microorganism modification, leaching, and absorption by plant. Vaporization. In this process, some pesticide vaporize into the atmosphere without chemical changes. And these pollutants come back to the soil or surface water with the rain. Adsorption. In this process, pollutant adsorb on soil particles. Clay particles have higher adsorption capacity than the sand. Another process is leaching, in which pollutant leach down to the groundwater and contaminate the groundwater. Therefore, the application of the water-soluble compounds should not be applied to the wet soil or during monsoon. Another process is chemical reaction. In this process, pollutant undergo chemical modification that occurs due to solar radiation and hydrolysis process that help to degrade harmful compounds in soil. Biodegradation. This is the most important process by which pesticides are removed from soil. In this process, soil microorganisms degrade pollutant present in soil. Degradation process depends on type of pollutant present in soil as organophosphate rapidly degrade by a variety of microorganisms. While pollutant can be removed from soil by plant, 
higher plants uptake pollutant and accumulate in their biomass. Remediation for contaminated soils. Soil pollutant can be removed from soil by three remediation. Bioremediation, in which microorganisms degrade soil pollutants and make them harmless compounds. If a soil does not contain sufficient population of microorganisms for decomposition of pollutants, then specific microbes can be added to the soil. This approach is called bioaugmentation. While another approach is a bioestimulation, in which specific fertilizers or chemical can be added to the soil to enhance microbes' population, so they can decompose pollutant rapidly. Another remediation is phytoremediation, in which some specific plants are used for removing soil pollutant. This process is slow process but less costly. When plants uptake a high concentration of a pollutant from soil and accumulate in their biomass, that process is called hyperaccumulation. However, plants either accumulate a pollutant in their biomass or volatilize into atmosphere. This process is called phytovolatilization. While plants root excrete some compound that stimulate microbes to speed up the degradation process. That is called rhizosphere phytoremediation. While contaminated soil can be treated by physical and chemical methods. There are two types of methods, ex situ treatment and in situ treatment. In ex situ treatment, soil is excavated from its original place to the treatment place where soil may be incinerated to volatilize pollutants. Incineration process of pollutant are destroyed by burning. In situ treatment. In this method, certain surfactant can be used to immobilize soil pollutant. So pollutant cannot leach down to contaminate the groundwater. In other in situ treatment is leaching. Through leaching, some toxic elements such as boron can be removed from soil. While the best approach to deal with the polluted soil is to reduce the sources of pollutants. Limit use of fertilizers and pesticides. However, organic farming is the best way to prevent soil pollution.